All right, today we're going to be talking about blue kyanite. Blue kyanite is awesome. And I'm going to say it again. Blue kyanite, for me personally, is absolutely one of my favorite crystals. One of my favorite crystals to work with. One of the most important crystals you could work with. And one of the most overlooked crystals. And if you're talking energy body stuff, you're talking healing, you're talking chakra cleansing, you're talking all that stuff, you need blue kyanite. Let me say it one more time. You need blue kyanite definitely in your collection. This is an absolute must. 100%. If you're serious about all this, this has to be something you work with regularly. And let's talk about it. Why? Why blue kyanite? And if you go to any crystal store, you, you're going to see it. You're going to see it on the shelf. Blue kyanite does, in the bigger specimens, it could get a little pricey, but it's you have to have a piece. You could still get little pieces and it's not very much money. Um, something like this, you could get relatively inexpensive and it's, you, you have to have it. You have to have it. So blue kyanite, think of this as lightning. That's the best way to think about blue kyanite. Lightning in your hand. This is a storm element type of crystal. It is something that is going to ignite your energy body and it's going to align everything. It's going to align your entire energy body. Every single chakra you have, a lot of these stones where um, certain ones are associated with certain chakras, like uh, certain ones will only work with like your, your sacral or your, your third eye or your crown. This works with every single one of them. Every single one of them. And that's what makes this so... It's a must-have. It's a must-have. It makes it so important to have this stone because it's so effective. The other great thing with this, you never ever have to cleanse blue kyanite nothing negative can affect blue kyanite nothing it cannot absorb harmful energy at all now most of the time when you're looking at blue kyanite you are looking at little rough specimens like this and these can get a little if you're working with them it's not like you're gonna cause any major damage you could absolutely use these i i use them all the time but they're jagged they're they're a little pokey and you know the cool thing is and i never saw this until within the last five or six years maybe not maybe i'm wrong but they started polishing it and i love using polished blue kyanite because now you don't have to worry about all that. You could hold these. You could throw them in your pocket. There's no way you're going to toss something like this in your pocket without damaging it, busting it, breaking it, chipping it. Um, and this is a pretty big piece of polished. Uh, they come in all different sizes, but you can see what I'm getting at here. Way easier to work with a polished piece of blue kyanite than it is with a rough piece in terms of transporting it and... and if you had to lay it on your body, that type of thing. So I would I would recommend definitely looking into some polished kyanite. And this is just beautiful stuff. Look at, I mean, look at the beautiful blue on this. And these come, they even polish them in the little uh, stones too. So perfect for wearing around your neck, all that kind of stuff now, which is great. But I love um, polished blue kyanite kind of fell in love with it over the past couple years. So blue kyanite, it's going to align all your chakras, everything from head to toe, 
whether it be your root chakra, sacral chakra, uh, anything, your solar plexus, it's going to align them. And that is a key word here. If something is out of alignment, when your car's out of alignment, does it drive properly? No. You need to align those, and blue kyanite does it the best. It, it It's just one of the best crystals. It, honestly, if I had to pick, a, at some point, maybe I'll make a video on, like, uh, if I could only pick, like, a three crystals or something like that. Blue kyanite has to be one of them because it's so versatile it's so effective um a lot of times if you go to like reiki treatments and stuff like that and i've i've done that a few times they will give you a piece of blue kyanite right out of the gate to hold in your hand so it speaks for itself on so many levels but easy to use you never have to cleanse it you never have to charge it you just work with it right out of the gate you could work with the crystal and it's just awesome. So it's overall one of the best healing stones. Whether it's emotional issues, whether it's physical issues, it's going to cleanse and align those chakras. It's going to pull in energy and just make them function the way they should function. Now, sometimes you have really blocked pathways where whether it be something negative stuck to you that you don't know about, whether it be... Uh, some type of disease, whether it be emotional trauma that caused a tear in, in some part of your energy body, this is going to fix it. Now, you have to work with it. You're not going to just, you know, some people, I don't feel it working. Oh, I don't know. You, you got to work with these crystals and you got to you gotta do <laughs> follow uh, somewhat of a, a path where you, you, you work with them daily or every few days, something like that. And... I plan on making videos to talk about all that kind of stuff too. But in terms of uh, blue kyanite, you got to have it. It's going to cleanse you. It's going to balance you. It's going to shred away all that negative crap from you. And it's great because it never needs cleansing. And you could use it for, for everything. You could sleep with it. You could do whatever with it. You could use it passively. You could hold it. You could put just lay it on your body. It's going to work. I kind of use it as a like a think of it like a fan and i'll go head to toe uh with this thing and just you'll feel better way better after you use it but if you use this and work with this enough you're definitely gonna cleanse and cleanse your uh, energy body and keep it functioning at peak performance and think of it it's it's like a storm it's like lightning just blasting through you look at this guy this is a beautiful rough specimen and it is just gorgeous. Um, I wanted to throw in there too. I think this one uh, I have up for sale. I could be wrong. It could be the other one. But I do sell crystals as well. Um, I have an Etsy shop. And kyanite is usually always something I keep in stock and for sale. So definitely check out my Etsy shop. I'll put the link in the description. And on my banner, the main banner, there's a link there embedded so you could just click on that and it'll take you right there but kyanite i sell a decent amount of and you just can't go wrong with it now i have to add when you're talking about blue kyanite there's black kyanite i'm gonna have a separate video on black kyanite but you want to pair them you want to pair them they're they're it's like two brothers two crazy brothers where you pair them up, and they're going to do wonders. And I'll, I'll explain all about that um, probably in the Black Kyanite video. But you're going to want the two of them uh, together. If you're going to, you could use each of them individually, absolutely. But if you put them together, they pack up the perfect punch. It's like they're made to work together because they're like brother and sister type crystals. I would say two crazy brothers. But... They're both like storm elements, very powerful, and they're going to just unlock pathways and blockages you never even knew you had. And if you keep working with them, trust me, you're going you're gonna to experience a definite shift in the way your energy body feels and works. 
and just functions on a daily basis. So I don't have a ton of specimens um, to show you. I, I have, I do have some more, but nothing like mind blowing. Like this is a great representation. Um, probably one of my bigger specimens. I don't really have any huge blue kyanite specimens because I work with it um, more commonly than other crystals. And it's easier to work with when you're on the smaller scale. Stuff like this is really all you need. But think of it like lightning in your pocket. Just, just powerful. And all around, you need, to, you need to use it. And if you're not, you got to start. All right. We'll talk to you guys next time.